Okay guys, this is a gentle reminder. When was the last time you cleaned your gaming PC? Okay, in today's video we are going to clean this mini ITX build. This build is, let me say, relatively young. I did this build like three months ago, so I don't expect this to be extremely dirty and also because i mean i tend to clean it frequently um all the desk and everything else so i don't expect this to be that much dirty but anyway since summer is kicking in i usually tend to clean the computers i suggest you guys to do it once in six months or once in a year at least i usually tend to do it once before the summer kicks in and in the winter so let's check out how dirty this one it is we will start with the filters as we can see, even if it's relatively young, there is a lot of dust here. Uh, I'm going to go outside of the house because I don't want all this dust to go around. Also here, as you can see, these are the two fans of the uh, GPU. I'll take it out. Uh, this kind of filters, you can clean it, uh, you can wash it. It's not an issue at all. It's just plastic, so you can simply wash. Now guys, the tools for cleaning are really basic and really simple. I use this air duster. Normally I use an electric uh, air duster, but that one gets broken. So I have this in case of an emergency. And if you have some anti-static brushes, but I don't think you really need it, this will, be, this will do enough. And here we have the thermal paste, because since we are going to check the CPU and we are going to apply the reapply the thermal paste again. And here I have some wipes with the isopropylic alcohol. I tend to use the, this one because I don't want to mess around with liquids and anything else. But if you, if you have that one, you can use that one. It's okay. And of course, some screws to unscrew, to unscrew everything. Okay, guys, I moved outside of the house because I don't want all the dust to be inside my room. As you can see, even if this build is a three months build, it's amazingly, there is an amazing dust. I tend to use my room really frequently. It's not dirty. And as far as I know, there is no desert <laughs> near to my house. And this PC is not 24-7, uh, but it's like eight hours normal. I use it for work and for some video editing on the side and some um and some photo editing also. so this is a normal use of this computer and it is amazing i'm just going to wash it with the simple water and you cannot be here my friend all right here we go it took one minute and let's wait for this to get dry okay i'm going to wash also this cover here this is the nzxt h1 covers so it's really simple and easy to clean you just swipe it out from your case and wash it with the water so let's check out how much dust there is here inside first of all i'm going to remove the graphic cards so we can check if there is too much dust here or not sorry for the all the sounds you might hear here but i don't want to spread all the dust inside my room and i just moved outside and there are a lot of car passing and everything else so sorry for that okay let me check it seems there is not that much dust here anyway i'm going to clean it i'm going to open it and repaste anyway after three months it's not that much dust inside anyway i have to open it and check in what condition is the heatsink here okay let's move on here i think we have a lot of dust as we can see there is a lot of dust here i'm gonna blow it with the air duster in a moment now but I just I, I want to remove everything so we don't have that much stuff around okay we are almost there removing the 140 millimeter radiator here almost there is a little bit of dust here not that much but is there i'm going to remove also the fan here so i can easily blow with air duster if you have my same case please keep in mind that this there is this tape here so you in order to remove all the cables so let's remove this tape here I don't really like that dust because they leave that, that white thing and I thought it would be more dirty but it's not that much it depends I have seen worse <laughs> but this one is let me say normal after three months of use normal use 
Okay, the thermal paste is there, it's not that much dry. I'm gonna use this anti-static brush to remove. Then we will blow with a duster again. Ah, there is not that much dust, honestly. In the next video will be with a, 80, with a normal ATX build, so I will check on that. Because usually bigger builds tend to accumulate more dust from what I have seen. I have to say this is really clean. Okay guys, uh, the thermal paste seems to be not that much dry. Of course I will reapply it anyway. And the uh, power supply here, not that much dust, happy with that. One thing to do is to have a look at all the motherboard and all the components. If the build is new, you don't have to be worried about that. But anyway, why not have a look at that? Especially if you are overclocking and uh, you are reaching high temps, it's always a good thing to have a look at all the components, that everything is there. It's especially to the VRMs, seems to be okay to me now let's move to the graphic card to check how is the situation also there okay guys first of all let me blow with the earth duster here as you can see the graphic card tends to have a little bit more of dust i really hate the spray head dusters this to me are completely unuseful i have one for emergency because my electric air duster get broken so i'm waiting for the new one but i don't really like the air duster and spray we have to reapply the thermal paste also here i'm not going to change the pads here because i think they are not needed this is a new build so i have not yet used that much okay guys here we got our rtx 2060 okay the thermal pad seems to be okay to me okay the best practice is always to change it when you open the graphic card and repaste anyway the core i'm not going to do it in this case because to me that seems okay i'm not that much used um, this is a relatively new build okay let's have a quick look also here if we have something strange apparently not everything is, seems to be okay okay so we can repaste and install back the heatsink i'm gonna quickly clean also the fans but i'm not that much dirty honestly not with a so i'm not that much dirty honestly with the air duster is okay just to blow them Okay, here we go. Let's put back the heatsink. Okay, here we got our GPU, nice and clean. Let's clean the let's clean the rest of the build. I'm using this brush, but you can use a wipe or whatever else. It's really doesn't matter. This is why I love the mini ITX builds because you can clean them really fast and really easily. Okay, now let's apply the thermal paste. Let me remove the <coughs> thermal paste, which is not that much dry, I have to say. So that's nice. Okay, it seems clean. Before repasting everything, I just want to clean more deeply the radiator with the fan here because this is the most dirtiest thing that I've noticed. So this is the one who captured the dust together with the graphic card, of course. It's clean. Okay, seems nice and clean to me. If you have the same case, remember to install properly the fan because otherwise, instead of exhausting, you are going to intake the air. So this is something we don't want in this case <coughs> because this is the only fan here. So we don't want to intake, but we want instead to exhaust the hot hair from here. Okay, we got our AO and we'll, I will install it back on the case. Okay, guys, let's repass the CPU and put back the AIO. Okay, let's connect all the fan cables and the AIO pump cable also. And then quickly install back the GPU. All right, in the meantime, our filters are nice, clean and dry. So I'm going to put it back. Okay, let's put back also the back panel and the front panel. As you can see, guys, that was all for this Mini ATX cleaning. It was fast, uh, I have to say it wasn't that much dirty, so it was fast, but anyway, on the Mini ITX builds, usually the cleaning is fast, it depends. I tend to clean all my builds once in six months, but you can do it at least once in a year, I suggest you to do that. Next video I'm going to clean the ATX build, the dark side build, ATX build, the normal build, so we will check that, also that build is relatively new, it's like three months, and we will, we will check the conditions also of that build.
That's it for this cleaning video. As we can see, even in a short amount of time, the dust inside the PC is a lot, even in a short period. And this is the worst thing in terms of the performances. Before summer kicks in, I always suggest cleaning and replacing the CPU or GPU on your gaming PC. You will be amazed how cleaning uh, can increase the thermal and the performances, and also, especially, the lifespan of your components. If you enjoy watching this video, I would appreciate if you hit that like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching.